making it look easy. We're now over three and a half minutes through this overtime period. No good. Stan, it might be slipping away. Well, Kevin, if they want to get back in it, they're going to have to get a lot of stops and convert. And after all the drama to get this thing to OT, this has been very one-sided. Jokic fired. Dan, they needed that one. Yeah, Kevin, look, they're trailing by 12. It's not looking good. And they double up, MP. And MP putting on a show to remember here in overtime. Talk about rising to the occasion. MP has taken over. Jokic with it. MP rips down the rebound. Nice work defensively to contest that shot right at the rim. Nothing easy. This is amazing. MP leaving everything out on the floor here in overtime. Craig, this is unbelievable to watch. And this is what dreams are made of. Literally, the way MP has exploded here in overtime it is just what they need. MP rips down the rebound. And Craig, as the final seconds tick away, the realization has set in for this group. And Kevin, they reached the finish line. That sweet taste of victory. And they can finally just rejoice and take it all in. And as the final seconds dwindle down, these players showing emotion. And they've done it! They are the NBA champions. MP. Yo, MP. Yo, what's up with you, man? You doing another one of those visualization exercises? I was. 
All right, well, look, I've been calling you for a minute, okay? It's like you're on a different planet. Listen, you gotta fully immerse yourself in the experience that you're trying to manifest. If it doesn't feel real, then it doesn't work. Okay, you're right. All right, so what are you manifesting this time? I got that goal set and meeting later on with Coach Tucker and Cliff. Okay. And I was visualizing how I won my rookie year to go. Oh, okay, cool. Well, judging by that goofy looking grin you got on your face, it must have went pretty good, huh? Let me guess, rookie of the year. Even better. A championship, bro. Ooh, I was close, though. Okay, look, on that tip, when you get to the meeting, they're going to ask you, what kind of player do you want to be? Mm -hmm. All right? Have you visualized that yet? As a matter of fact, I have. Well, great. What do you see? Come on, man, you see it. <laughs> you spent a lot of time thinking about this, didn't you? Yeah, only my entire life. Now, did you want something, or were you just coming in here to try to interrupt my meditation, man? <laughs> ah, nah, man, I'm here on official business, all right? I know we boys and all, but I am your manager, okay? Still can't believe I let you talk me into this one, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's the power of persuasion, right? And it's one of the best skills you have as a manager. All right, Mr. Manager. Manager Wade, what's up, man? All right, so I was coming here to remind you about that goal setting meeting you got today, but you're all over that, though. 100%. All right, look, don't be late, okay? Because Coach Tucker hates him when people are late. It's at the arena, right? Yeah, it's in Cliff's office. All right, got you. Okay, good. Now let's talk about pickup hoops. Oh, nah, P. You're not about to tell me I can't hoop at the park, man. I could get hurt just walking down the street. I can't worry about that, man. No, 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 that's not my angle. As a matter of fact, I was going to tell you I found the guys in the city who run the best games, okay? Chris Manning and Shakedown. I dropped a pin for you so you can talk to them whenever. Okay. Nice, man. Good looking out, bro. Hey, no doubt. <laughs> hey, anything <laughs> else or what's up? Oh, uh, yeah. Walk with me. What's this? I've been thinking. This moment. Start to your NBA career. I mean, we talked about this for as long as we've known each other, man. Facts. 
You put in a ridiculous amount of work to get here. That's also true, man. Yeah, so I just, you know, wanted to give you something you could look at to remind yourself of how far you come and so you could appreciate the journey. Yo, is this that club league ticket from when you was out there talking trash in the parking lot, bro? <laughs> Yo, it is, it is. And when you found out I was moving to Plainview, you were big mad. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, man. This is outstanding. Uh, this is, this is hitting me, man. It's just a small token. So what are you gonna do now? Head to the arena, get there nice and early for your meeting. No one to leave coach waiting. Uh, he must love you. <laughs> That's not the impression I get. Look, you'll be fine, all right? If he gives you any problems, you let me know, all right? I'll take care of him. All right, man. Sounds good. You know what, Shake? I remember the first time I picked up 2K, and honestly, it can feel a little overwhelming at first. Yeah, I hear you. I mean, the list of moves that you can pull off, as you know, goes on for a long time. Well, if you're new to the game, you might be looking for some tips on how to approach all those controls. Or maybe you're...
What's up, everyone? It's Ronnie2k. I'm live here in the arena. The vibe is crazy. Hey, yo, watch out, bro. Hey, MP, what's going on? Uh, do I know you? Yeah, I'm Ronnie. Oh, from the team. Okay, is that why you got no, the camera? No, 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 no. Ronnie2k. The, I'm doing content, video games. Oh, Ronnie2k. Okay, okay. That reminds me, man. Are you guys bringing back the Rebirth feature? That was yeah, one of man. Ones. It's back and better than ever. All mm -hmm. you got to do is get a build to 90, and you unlock a bunch of cool stuff. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, on re Rebirth builds. Okay, like what, though? Uh, head start on level grinding, silver level badge unlocks, accelerated badge progression. There's a lot more. We can chop it up. We can mm -hmm. talk about it. Like... You want to come on the live? Say what's oh, up to hey, people. Hey, y'all doing? What's up, man? This is MP. Like. Hey, uh, I got to go to practice, man. But I uh, appreciate the offer. Always great running into you. Keep doing your thing, you man. You sure? I'm sure, bro. Keep uh, doing your right. thing, man. All right. That's my guy. He's actually my best friend. Make sure you hit that like button. MP, what's up, man? Everyone's so, been talking about you. Absolutely. We've been hoping you'd stop by and get a few games in. So you're Shakedown and Chris, right? Yeah, my manager was telling me you guys have the best runs in the city, huh? That's right, as long as you join Elite. Uh, don't listen to him. Everyone knows that Rise is where the real hoopers play. All right, so fill me in. What are you guys talking about? Affiliations. They're like private clubs for the city's best street ball. And they've okay. got their own courts with their own sense of style. Over at Rise, we got a futuristic mech suit meets warehouse kind of vibe. It's dope. It, right. It's okay. I mean, Elite is much cooler. Please. We've got a pirate ship, Shake. A pirate ship, and it's huge. That makes sense. That's what he will sell you on. Elite's all about being flashy. There is nothing wrong with having a little fun. No, I'd rather win. And that's what you'll do if you join Rise. We get everyone involved, play a team game. Uh, you can't just win without breaking down the defense off the dribble. Mm -hmm. It's funny you mentioned defense. I don't think I've ever seen you play it. Yo, guys, Please, guys. I will get on the court and lock you up. Guys. Oh, on, I man. will lock him up. Okay. We'll, we'll see about okay. that. Uh, what were you saying? I was trying to say, uh, what do I have to do to join an affiliation? Uh, well, normally we have to put you through a probationary period, mm -hmm. but you're in the NBA, so we'll waive all that. That's true. Yeah. Just stop by whenever you've made your decision. I'll be right over there by the elite entrance. <laughs> and I'll be over there at Rise. You might be wondering what this giant building right in the heart of the city is all about. This is the NBA arena for your chosen team. It's the place to go when you're ready to play a game and advance your season. And there's a whole lot more going on there than just playing games, Shake. 
be sure to spend some time behind the scenes in the tunnels too. You'll find your locker room there, as well as the assistant coach, who will set you up with a variety of goals while keeping you up to date Coach Tucker showed me some photos of the gym you and your manager set up. Yeah, I wanted to work on my game 24-7. Something wrong with our training facility? It doesn't have any candy in the vending machines. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just wanted to make sure I didn't have any excuses. You know how it is. I do. And that work ethic of yours is something we all love about you. Thank you. You're going to fit our culture like a glove. Well, I'm excited to be here. I feel like uh, this is a perfect place to start my career. Fantastic. Well, then why don't we talk about our goals for the season then? As a former player, I understand how important it is for an organization to clearly communicate its expectations. And I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page to start the season. Let's do it. Our goal this year is to secure at least the sixth seed and avoid the play-in tournament. After that, anything can happen. Huh? Something wrong? I get why you say that. And it's not like I don't remember what happened last season, but I just feel like we should be aiming higher. Okay, our goal is to win the title in the long run. But my job is, as GM is to honestly evaluate the roster and make sure that I know what needs to be done to improve it. Mm -hmm. And honestly, the roster as it is, it wouldn't be fair to put that kind of championship expectation on you. What if I take a leap? I know what I can bring to this team. I know that I could push these guys farther than what you guys are saying, just avoiding the play-in. Then prove it. Nothing would make me happier than to see you have that kind of impact this year. Speaking of, why don't we set your personal goals for the first half of the season? Coach Tucker can walk us through it. We've got some strong opinions on what you should focus on, but we'd like to get your input, too. Okay. This is a collaboration. That's great, because I have been visualizing exactly how I want my career to be. Visualizing? Yeah. Huh. You know, like meditation and manifestation, mm -hmm. that sort of thing? Well, why don't you manifest some opinions on this list of potential goals for the first half of the season? Mm -hmm. you know, let me know if anything speaks to you. You want me to just pick one? There's a lot to work on at this level, always. And you'll do a little bit of everything, but we find that giving our players a list of uh, specific goals to work on for the first half of the season is the mm -hmm. best way to drive development. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm with it. It also allows us to give you some milestones to track your progress. We'll even highlight on our schedule some key games to use as measuring sticks. Ah, uh, that's that communication that you were talking about. Exactly. Yeah. Go ahead, pick a goal. I want to win the NBA Cup. Tell me why. It'll give us a head start on building towards a championship. We'll see what those top teams are throwing at us and what they're taking away. And we'll get the experience and the knowledge of those win or go home whoa, games. Whoa, whoa, you're making this sound easy. Coach, what did you say to me at the beginning of training camp? Yeah. If it were easy, everyone would do it. Uh, and the path to the title won't be easy. But if we're going to get taken serious as competitors, the NBA Cup gives us that, Coach. And that's what we'll work toward. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Wish being a GM was always this easy. <laughs> oh, uh, one more thing. Yep. We got media day coming up. Oh, I love media day. It's always been fun for me as a fan, so this will be cool. Our PR director, Donna Chase, she's gonna walk you through everything. She's great, yeah. you're gonna love her. Brian, anything you wanna add? Just keep working. Yeah, we'll talk more about your spot in the rotation as we get closer to the season opener. All right, appreciate your time. Look forward to building something special here. So do we. All right. Thank you. Have a good one. You too.
MP, I'm Donna. Nice to meet you. So nice to meet you, Donna. My manager tells me you're one of the best PR people in pro sports. Hmm. <laughs> well, I'm not sure Mr. Wells has the requisite experience to make that call, but I'm glad he thinks highly of me. Shall we talk media day? Yeah, let's do it. Now, this is all pretty standard fare, and I know Mr. Wells signed you up for media training over the summer, so there shouldn't be anything you can't handle. You can call him Patrick. We're not that formal with each other. If that's your preference. It is. Wonderful. We've also secured you an interview with 2K Tip-Off Magazine. If all goes well, you will be the cover athlete for their upcoming issue. Wow, that sounds fun. It is important to note that this interview will not be conducted by our in-house content team, which means anything you say can be published, especially if it's sensational or controversial in any way. It's noted. I'm going to be upfront with you, MP. I'm a team employee, first and foremost. And it's my job to make sure this team is seen in the best light possible. You make the team look good, we'll be on great terms. You make the team look bad, and we will have a problem. But I have no reason to doubt your character. By all accounts, you're a responsible, smart, considerate young man. And it's because I respect you that I want to put my cards on the table. Thank you. Are we clear? Crystal clear, Miss Chase. Please, call me Donna. Now, whenever you're ready, you can take that elevator to the practice facility and start your interview. Get ready to light it up tonight. Looking good, MP. I'm telling you, Hunter, best movie I've seen in the past 20 years for oh, sure. Yeah, okay, yeah. so I have to check it out. Definitely. Hey, hey, can I ask you uh, one last question? Of course, shoot. So you grew up in Illinois, about a couple hours outside Chicago, right? Right. And uh, I know you're too young to have watched uh, Jordan's Bulls in the moment, but I was wondering, how has his legacy affected you as you developed into the player you are today? MJ's legacy, man, if you're a hooper from Illinois, that shadow that he casts, you know, it follows you everywhere. I bet, yeah. Yeah, people, you know, <laughs> they still talk about looking for the next MJ, like LeBron never happened. Still, being from Chicago, that's a pretty heavy burden trying to live up to that. It is, and it isn't, you know. I, um, I don't put pressure on myself for results. I put pressure on myself to work. If I put in as much work as possible, uh, I'll live with whatever happens. So you're not trying to one up the go. Oh no, nah, man. I'm I'm trying to learn from him. You know how he continued to evolve as a player, how he balanced taking over a game and still keeping his teammates involved. You know, do I do I think that I have greatness? Of course. You know, but it's not about comparing myself to MJ. It's about maximizing my gifts and my talents and using them in a way that leads to us winning more games. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's about, winning games. And that's what I hope to do here. Nicely done. I can see that media training is paying off. I was just honest, mostly. But you didn't give them any bulletin board material, okay? It shows maturity and restraint. Look, I get it. Tooting your own horn feels really good when you've earned it the way you have. But you know what? The real pros, they let their game do the talking. Uh, MJ did not hold back on saying bold statements. Come but you're on. thinking MJ once he was MJ. He didn't come into the league talking like that. And you know why? Because that sort of thing doesn't fly when your teammates don't know if you can back it up. All right, that makes sense. 
second. I hear you, Don. All right. Now the raid takes some photographs, and it sounds like they're considering you for the cover. <laughs> okay, that's what's up. So, uh, you got any any advice for me? Pose in a way that reflects your public persona, okay? You know a picture's worth a thousand words. Okay. Why don't you head over there now? They're all set up for you. Thank you as always. Good luck. Thank you. And P, huge fan. What's up, man? How you doing? You good. Ready? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, this is what we'll be shooting today. All right. Stand yeah. right here. Right there. See some of your best poses. All right, man. Hold that. Right there. Perfect. Great. We got what we need. All right, Ben. Hey, do you know when uh, this issue comes out, man? Y'all don't know the exact day, but check us out on socials. It'll be there first. All right, bet. Thanks, bro. Thank you. Yo, MP, let's go. There he is. New Orleans is after me. Gonna be a rowdy crowd out there. Time to talk rotation. Ah, great. I've been looking forward to this. Every NBA player wants to start someday, and I'm sure you're no different. I've never come off the bench a day in my life, coach. That's pretty much the case for every player in an NBA locker room. Until they get to the league. Right, of course. There's no nice way to say this, so I'm gonna put it bluntly. You've got an established player in front of you, you want his spot, you're gonna have to take it from him. Okay, that makes sense. This team is a meritocracy. You get the minutes you earn, nothing's given. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what your draft position is or how much you're getting paid. You get it done out there on the court, we'll put you in the starting lineup. So just so I'm clear, how do you, how do you make that decision? Like, will you let me know when I've done enough to become a starter? Yeah, we've got some milestones we want to see you hit. You hit them? We'll put you in the starting lineup. This is all pretty straightforward. Like Cliff said, communication is a big part of what we do here as a ball club. I can see that, and it's much appreciated, Coach. Good. Now get ready. It's almost game time. All right. I'll see you later, Coach. See you. MP, Yo. you got that look in your eye tonight. So how to go with Coach? Any surprises? What do you say? Yeah, not really. If I want to be a starter, then I got to outplay the guy ahead of me. Simple as that. Yeah. And yeah, that seems fair. Yeah, it's sports. It is what it is, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, not to bring any extra motivation or anything like that, but uh, you know only starters get endorsement deals, right? I already know. You know, dudes on the bench ain't getting no shoot deal. They're not. Not right now, but that day will come. Okay. For right now, let's just take this in. We in the league. Yeah. I mean, you ever visualize something like this? You know what, P, man? I never really thought about what the tunnel looks like, man. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not talking about the tunnel. I'm talking about right here. You and me, you getting ready to play in your first NBA game. Honestly, no. You know, nothing prepares you for this, man. No matter how many high-pressure situations that you face, it's just, this is different, man. Or what about that open run I got your invitation to? <laughs> You know, things got a little heated between you you know who, yeah? Well, yeah, that was dope, but we didn't have 20,000 people watching us, man. That's true. That's yeah, true. it's a little different. It's different. All right, though. It's different. Hey, it's hey. different. Yeah. Hey, look, though, I ain't gonna hold you up, man. I know you gotta go win that game. No doubt, no doubt. Yeah, so, uh, Plainview proud, yeah? You already know what it is, P. You know. Plainview. Plainview.